हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टॉक अबाउट सर्ज ग्राफ कैटेलिस्टिक इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ अ सर्जिंग टेक प्लेस इफ यू हैवंट वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज डू वॉच आफ्टर दैट यू विल वॉच दिस वीडियो यू विल गेट अ क्लियर आइडिया बट इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द सर्ज ग्राफ यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो ओनली नाउ Let's see how a surge graph is defined. So first, let's see what are the axes. In the here we can see pressure ratio P2 by P1 in the y axis and in the x axis air flow which is been in meter per second. Now, this pressure ratio is P2 by P1. What do you mean by that? Suppose the air is inlaying at one bar. and it going out after passing through the diffuser and bullet casing here it is at 4 bar the ratio of that 4 by 1 that ratio is the pressure ratio okay now and this is the air flow so here as you can see this is the constant rpm line means this is a constant rpm line which is seen 8000 9000 10000 11000 Like twelve thousand. Now, as you can see, this graph is like this. Okay, it is coming, coming up and then falling down. Coming up and then falling down. Coming up and then falling down. Means both side it is falling down and at center it is coming at P. So, if we put a dot to each of the peak point, okay, of the eight thousand RPM, nine thousand RPM, ten thousand like that. and if we connect the dot we will get a line okay okay this line is called surge line okay so as what i have written see if a line is drawn to the peak pressure of a line of constant speed the line is called surge line as you can see after the surge line the pressure is dropping okay now i will explain so now you know what is surge line if anybody say what is surge line you can say a line which is been drawn based on the peak of each constant speed that line is called surge line now if air flow is reduced for a particular compression here i have told you in a normal scenario what is happening if a uh, air is flowing from here and is coming out the if the air is coming at one bar it coming out at four bar that ratio we getting a peak point and we are drawing a surge line now suppose there is a restriction in that case what will happen the air flow will reduce the air flow will reduce okay so as the air flow will reduce so what will happen earlier if we made a turbocharger based on the surge line so if the air which coming out from volute casing was 4 bar now because of the dirty air filter there is a restriction in the air flow now because of that the pressure at which the air is coming out will be reduced and suppose it's coming at 2 bar so the graph because of reduced air flow will shift to this direction so the air will be at 2 bar now earlier the air which is been going out from the volute casing to the scavenge manifold was 4 bar now because of restriction the air is going out at 2 bar so the air in the scavenge manifold is more pressurized compared to the air coming out from the volute casing so as we know the air will flow from high to low pressure area the air will flow from scavenge manifold to the compressor air in this side and hence the surging will occur so for that reason this range is called unstable range okay this range is called unstable range means if the air flow reduces the surging will going to happen on the base on this side now this range is called stable range okay let's see 
if the air flow is reduced for a particular compressor speed so that the air flow is at the left of the surge line as i have told you the air flow will be at the left of the surge line then there is a reduction in pressure reduction in pressure once the delivered pressure fall below the inlet or scavenge manifold then the flow reversal will take place and surging will take place i have explained that now let's see so this is the surge line now if anybody asks you that why engine operating line is not same as the surge line your answer should be same that if we draw the engine operating line the same as the surge line if there is any restriction or any operating condition changes there will be a surging because it will shift to this area instantaneously and hence it will cause surging how it will happen i have told you now for that reason the engine operating line is made here as you can see from the left side of the surge line okay the engine operating line is placed far enough to the left of the surge line so that in the event of change in operating condition under normal operation surging will not take place very very clear therefore the engine operating line is been made in this area far from the surge line so that if certain condition like restriction in air flow or some operating condition changes it will not cause instantaneously surging okay now for instance suppose why i am talking about this changes in operating condition how it will happen let me give you example a ship is sailing worldwide sometime it will go to the russia which is having colder climate sometime it will come to india or sometime it will come to asian country which will have a higher climate so or sometime it will go to alaska or sometime it will go to usa depending upon that the temperature ambient temperature range will vary the density of air will vary and hence because of changing in ambient temperature and density of air the mass flow of air will also vary and as we have seen that if we put the operating line engine operating line on that this here surge line and if any operating condition changes on it will move to unstable area for that reason we are placing it far from the surge line now we can't say that the engine is continuously running at the constant rpm because of the same reason because of the change in density of air change in restriction in the air flow or change in the ambient temperature hence we can say the engine will operate in the operating range means we can say the engine will operate from 10500 to 11200 rpm in this range it will work if the changes in the ambient condition occur this range is called engine operating range okay and this is not fixed particularly this is this will vary okay and now the question second also come to our mind okay you are saying sir that this surge line will be the engine operating line will be left to the surge line but how far because as we are seeing in the diagram in the constant speed diagram that surge line is been made at the peak both side as we move means if we move to the here we are also seeing the drop in the peak pressure ratio pressure ratio and also here there will be a drop in the pressure ratio means as we are moving away from the surging line we are reducing the efficiency of a turbo charger is very clear we are reducing the efficiency of a turbo charger so it means that if we move the operating line more further away from the surge line we will reduce more efficiency of a turbo charger so how we will make sure that which is will be able with the operating line so that is been decided based on the combustion air requirement of the main engine and this is process of comparing the amount of air required and selecting of turbocharger that is called matching of a 
turbo charging and based on that the operating line is decided so i hope i have given clear idea of how a surge graph characteristic curve work how it look how the surge line is decided which is the stable area what is the unstable area and how the operating line is decided what is operating range what is the pressure ratio what is the air flow i have given you the clear description of this now if you have still have a doubt please do comment below and i will be feel free i will be able to reply back my humble request to all our marine personnel who are watching till the end i am very thankful to you i am very much encouraged by that please do subscribe and please do share that is my humble request please to subscribe and please to share on a social whatsapp and whatever platform you have please to subscribe because my main aim is only to reach to all of you that's all so please help me in this motive thank you friend have a good day